for the complete index to this or any other series, please go to BossIntegrations.com and click on Integration Videos. Process 2, Part 1. Load your web browser and go to Boomi.com. Once you're there, click on Customer Login, enter your email address and your password, and click Login to log into your trial account. Once you're in your trial account, you can see there are three main areas, Build, Deploy, and Manage. Series 1 is going to concentrate on the build mode. The first thing we want to do is to create a subdirectory for this series. So go to your top directory, right click on it, click on new folder, and type in series 1. But now if I expand the top directory, here you can see series 1. After you've created the Series 1 folder, go over to the right and click on Create a New Integration Process. And the name of this process is going to be Email Invalid Phone Numbers. Remember during the introduction I stated that we were going to build five processes that all link together. There is going to be a main process and it's going to call four sub-processes. Email invalid phone numbers is a sub-process and when added into the other processes this process will be used to email invalid phone numbers. Now click on Save and Close. And you can see over here email valid phone numbers has been saved successfully. There's an object here and it's called the refresh button. Click on the refresh and that will refresh any information inside these folders. We're going to click on processes and by default the process went into the process directory not into the series 1 folder and this is where we want to put it really. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this process down into the series 1 folder. So click on the process, highlight it, right click, click copy, and here's a destination folder, and we're going to choose series 1 and click on OK. Now if we go down to series 1, expand it, click on processes, here you can see email invalid phone numbers and if we click on that double click on that then you, you can see the process here. The first object you see is called a start shape and the start shape is really a connector object and the reason why the connector object is placed on the canvas automatically for you is because it's always assumed that you're going to connect to some sort of data source. So let's click on configure as you can see, there are three modes for the start shape. Connector, pass-through, and no data. We're going to leave it as connector for now, and later on in the lessons, we're going to change it to pass-through. So the first thing you want to do is select the type of connector. What type of data source are you going to connect to? And we're going to connect to disk. We're going to pick up a file from disk. Under action, currently, there's only get. And under connection, here you can see three different icons. And basically it's find, edit, and add. And we're going to add a new connection. For the name of this connection, type in C colon backslash boss integrations. You can type in something for the description if you'd like. And under the directory, type in the same C colon backslash boss integrations. Now this is a directory we created in an earlier lesson. Click on Save and Close. And you can see here we've created a new connection. Now we're going to create a new operation. So click on the Add button. And under 
disk operation for the name put in contact.csv because that is the name of the file we're going to pick up and for the file filter put in the same thing make sure you put csv in upper letters here we're going to save and close so you can see that we've created a connection and an operation we we'll click on OK now you can see we have configured the start shape now go over to the refresh button and click it it will refresh your folders if you go to series 1 you now see you have a new folder called connectors if you expand it there's a new folder called disk if you expand it you now see connect connections and operations and you can see the actual connection an operation that we just created. Now what we want to do is actually test this process because it actually is a process. In its current state it only loads the contact CSV file but it's still a process. To run any process you need an Atom. And an Atom is a lightweight dynamic process runtime engine. The first thing you want to do is run this process in test mode. To do that we have to download an Atom. Let's go up to get started and here's an icon set up an Atom. We'll click on that and what we want to do is we want to create a local Atom behind the firewall. Click on OK. Click on Save File. And we want to run this Atom install exe file. Click on Next. Type in username and password, and for the name of the Atom, type in on premise 1 because it's an on premise Atom. It doesn't run in the cloud, it runs on premise behind the firewall. Click Next. And Next. And Next. And Next. and click on finish and you have set up an atom let's go to email invalid phone numbers and now we can run a test we will select on premise one the atom we just installed and click on run test now you can see that the start object is actually working away. Once the object has turned green, it means that the process has successfully run this object. Now if you look down here under documents, it says start shape retrieve no documents. So that means there's a problem. So what we can do is look at the process log for this process. We'll view the log. In the middle of the log you can see reading files from c colon backslash integrations using wildcard. If I double click on that line you'll see the rest of the statement which says using wildcard filter contact dot csv. You can see that csv is in caps. If I hit cancel and then the next line here says it's comparing that wildcard to the file on disk which is contact.csv which is in small letters. And the operation is false and that's why we didn't receive any data. So this is how you use the process log to debug your process. So let's click on cancel and we'll click on return to edit mode so that we can edit the start shape 
Let's go to configure. And here we can see the operation is contact.csv in caps. We'll edit that and we'll put CSV in small letters. And we'll save and close. Actually, what we can do as well is rename this operation. and the name of the operation is now matching the actual file filter. Click on Save and Close. OK. And now what we'll do is we'll run this process again. Go over to Run a Test. On-Premise 1 is already selected. We'll click on Run Test. The object has turned green. And now you can see here that one document has been retrieved. If we look at logs, there's no log at this time, but if we cl click on connection data, we can see it picked up the file from this directory, and we can take a look at the actual file. And there it is. Click on cancel and return to edit mode. Congratulations on completing the lesson.